Yes, just a couple of months following the uh, and then deliver event that coincided with WrestleMania weekend, NXT bring us yet another premium live stars takeover event. This Saturday, to be precise, in uh, combination with the main roster's Hell in a Cell live event. We'll do on Saturday. So we have six matches as it stands, I should say. We have s- to change. six matches. Realistically, the only one which could possibly change is maybe a pre show match is added. So, our first match has practically every match is on this. At uh, NXT Stand and Deliver, Cameron Grimes would win a Fatal Five Way Ladder match to win the North American Championship. Now, Camelo Hayes is looking for his rematch. He is. And he's going to get it this Saturday as when NXT invades your houses. <laughs> Team titles. Formerly of NXT UK, now on NXT 2.0, pretty deadly, the NXT Tag Team Champions of Elton Prince Wilson defend their championships against the Creed Brothers of Brutus and Julius Creed. Now, for those of you who don't necessarily follow NXT uh, follow me, we should explain a little bit about this. Yes. Because at NXT Stand and Deliver, MSK won the NXT Tag Team Championships from Imperium. One of the MSK members in Last Carter's uh, controversial. Uh, controversial domestic abuse problems. What up? Okay. So then NXT would do a tournament 
and I went don't let tag team match the crown new champions and those would be uh, deadly the next match is an almost personal matter As Joe Gacy will challenge Bon Breaker for the NXT Championship, but if Breaker is disqualified, he will lose the championship. Yes. Uh, and again, there's a slight stipulation or explanation. Yes, at uh, NXT Stand and Deliver. Braun Baker was not the champion, and yes, he did lose his championship match to Dolph Ziggler. However, on the Raw after WrestleMania, he would win the uh, NXT championship match. Then, in an almost foolish move, we would see an act of kidnapping. Yes, Joe Gacy would kidnap one of the Steins. Well, uh, technically, he didn't do the kidnapping. But, uh,. He would be the one to leave. he would kidnap John uh, Bron Baker's father, Rick Steiner, who had just been inducted into the Hall of Fame as part of the Steiner Brothers. And basically demand a uh, NXT Championship match. And this stipulation about if a champion is. Uh, Disqualified is a reality off the top of my head. I can't remember it being implemented since the feud between Randy Orton and Christian. When Christian decided to spit in Orton's face and then Orton low blood Christian. Disqualification, Christian won the championship. Now, next we have a match for the NXT Women's Tag Team Championship. It's unlike the main championships and not under some controversial circumstances at the minute. <laughs> Their championships against Katana Chance, formerly known as Katie Catanzano, and her tag team partner, Katie Carter. Well, again, to those of you who may not follow the uh, events of uh, the on a full time basis at NXT TakeOver, well, did I say TakeOver? Stand and Deliver. Toxic Attraction would lose the uh, championships to Raquel Gonzalez, now known as Raquel Rodriguez, on the main roster, and Dakota Kai, who has unfortunately been released. Uh, apparently, that whole change was done, which is a move that uh, WWE is known to do several times. As a way to uh, hope that a talent may uh, change their minds about re signing with a company. Unfortunately, it didn't work. Yeah, it didn't work with Dakota Kai, so they uh, 
put the titles back on Toxic Attraction and send uh, a girl to the main roster. Where touch wood, she has not been mistreated on the main roster. Touch wood. At the moment, it's fair to say she's been treated very well, other than the slight stupid name change. Which, which isn't the worst name change you see, because it's just a sensory, a slight, slight tweak of her surname. But anyway, King Carter and Casey Castano and Nerd Katana Chat were sick and tired of Tonsky Attraction running around the tag division and basically got the <laughs> Also, it's fair to say that someone else was sick and tired of that. And that person will be the challenging the leader of Toxic Attraction for the NXT Women's Championship. And that will be Wendy Chu. And who has also had issues with And then she will challenge Mandy Rose for the NXT Women's Championship. See how he's hiding those two matches together? Notice the difference? Essentially, if uh, Tony D'Angelo's team loses, they have to join the ghetto fan and Tasma and vice versa. Pretty much. So, going through this one more time. Cameron Grimes will defend the NXT North American Championship against Carmelo Hayes. Braun Baker will defend the NXT Championship against Joe Gracie with a stipulation that if Baker gets himself disqualified, he will lose the championship. The NXT Women's Tag Team Titles will be on the line as Gigi Dome and Jason Jane on Toxic Attraction defend the championship against Katana Chance and Kate Carter. And Mandy and Rose will defend the NXT Women's Championship against Wendy Chu. And the team of the, of the Don, Tony D'Angelo, Channing Lorenzo, and Troy Donovan take on the Ghana Del Fantasma of Santos Mesa, Paul Mendoza, and Wendell's Bruce Del Toro, and Joaquin Wong in a six-man tag when the losing team must join the winning team's table. NXT in your house, Night of Champions. <laughs> will t- will take t- take place Saturday, June fourth, from the Performance Center slash Capital Wrestling Center. So until then, he's been. Nice luck, Jones, and he's been. Sean Randy Smith, and we will see you on Saturday for our Hell in a Cell pre-show. Thank <laughs> you.